Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple cartoon of someone with just using GIMP, a program that you can download for free on the internet. So what you first thing you want to do is go to Google Images, unless you have a picture, but for this purpose I'm just going to go to Google Images. And I'm going to search someone that I think would be good for this program. So I'm probably going to use, let's use Tori Hunter, this guy I can think of right now. And you could, you, normally you could do like a whole body, but for the purpose of this video, I think all I'm really going to do is just like the face. So let's probably go with, hang on, let's go with this one. This one will work. Go to view image, copy, oh, whoops. And then you go to edit right here, paste. Simple enough. And then to get rid of the dotted lines around, all you gotta do is go to view, show layer boundary, click that off. See? Okay. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to layer, new layer. You can name it whatever. Just name it face. And then just press OK. See? And then, yeah. So since this picture is kind of small, I'm just gonna go on zoom tool and just click. Oh, there. Very simple. Easy enough. So now what I want to do too is this path tool right here. Click on that, double click so this pops up. You want to make sure this is on design. Once that's on design, you want to just click and kind of outline the face. To outline the face, you just kind of pull and see how the line kind of curves. See, very simple. Now to keep the line straight, you want to move this one. Don't worry about this one because the back one because that just moves the line back here. This one. We'll move it. You want to move it to the direction you're going. So, if, like, if I have it like this, see how the lines kind of goes out? It's a little messed up. So I just press Control Z, get rid of that, and fix it. See, the lines a lot better. So then, just outline the face. Now connect, to connect it, what you want to do is press control, and then you'll see just a circle with a line through it. So what you want to do is you want to go to the very beginning where you started, and when you press, and when you get on it, it'll, you'll see two doubles, uh, two circles. And what you want to do is just click on it, see it connects it. And when you're satisfied on how you like it, you can just click, move it, whatever you want to do, you press enter. Next thing you want to do is when you're on tool options, just press stroke path. Pick what size you want. The bigger the picture, the higher line width you want. Keep it on stroke line, solid color. Once I do that, I just press stroke. You see the line's very big. If you can see, that's better. Uh, it's very big. So what I want to do is press Control Z and get rid of that. Of course, if you like that size, that's fine. But I'm not a big fan of oop, that. So I go down to 12. I like that. So what you do is you then go select. And then you go to press none. There you go. And to get rid of these circles, you just go to a different program, or not program, but, you know, option. Click it, and it goes away. And then you go back, double click. And then you see this eye right here? If you click that, see, it makes the image go away. So that way you can see what you outlined. Very simple. Next thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to outline the ears. Very easy. I'm not going to put, like, as much detail as as far as lines like I'll outline everything but if I if I go too detailed it just doesn't look correct and I don't like it and that's just my personal opinion alright and then press C and that's all you gotta do see how I clicked away and I could do another one all I do after that is just press enter same thing stroke path stroke select none go away and you just click away. See, that's what I have. See right here? You see that it's not connected. What you want to do is you want to go to Zoom Tool and just click to right here. And then you want to go to the Paintbrush Tool. And then you'll see right here is the size. See, how it's kind of hard to see, but there's a line. It's a circle. That's how big it's going to be. You can adjust that through size up and down. It's very simple. This is a perfect size. And all I got to do is click and fix it. And to zoom out, you just go back to the Zoom, hold Control, and click quite easy. Then I go back to my pass tool, click back on the picture, and there we go. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to do the hats. It'll be a little tricky, but it's 
should be fine. And if you want, you can do the A and the side right here. I'm not going to worry about this just because I want to be able to show you this video without having to make a super long video, you know, kind of, so I don't have to worry about it. So what I want to do just for this part is I can either draw the line to go over or just connect it right here. And for now, I'm just going to connect it right here. Press enter, stroke, and then stroke. Select, none. And then, you know, go away. There you go. Don't worry about don't worry about the bill. That's what we're gonna do right now. So what you do is you just click and I'm probably gonna go to right here, fix it, and right there's good. Press enter, see, it does that don't worry about this line. It doesn't when you stroke it, it doesn't show. It only shows the line that you created. Select none. See there we go quite simple next thing you want to do is I'm gonna do the eyebrows and there we go okay. there we go and also if you want to do the lens like right here you can I'll probably do that so so it turns out a little better so select um, but I don't do these facial lines until the end so and you see how again not connected you just gotta go right there there we go and see how like there's so much room here you can always erase that with the erasing tool right next to the paintbrush tool kind of fix it but I won't have to worry about that because his hair is black so it really wouldn't kind of it won't really dramatically affect the photo so once we've done that, we'll go back to this. Click. I'm going to do the nose. You know, kind of. Oops. Fix that. There we go. Press enter. You go. Stroke cross. Stroke. There we go. Select none. It's a little kind of disfigured, but it's it works. See, you can always erase that, but it looks fine to me for now. So center. All right. So then I'm gonna highlight, or I mean outline lips, kind of the whole mouth though. There you go. There we go. Alright. See, and just, I would go also on the inside, that way it doesn't, you know, go through it all. There we go. And then just control. Enter. Stroke. No, stroke has stroke. Select. None. There we go. But, uh, I'm gonna click enter, and then what I'm gonna do is go right here. Click. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go kind of past like the eye, make it bigger, because when you outline it, the lines kind of see how they're kind of thick. I it's gonna look kind of big if I don't. So just kind of it's gonna look you know a little small. So that's all I just wanna do. Oops. And then you can add these other lines on the extra, but really I don't think you need to. I mean, it all it does is really minor changes, but you don't have to worry about that for the sake of the video. Here we go. The eyes kind of messed up. You know, I'll just fix that right there. That's good. All right, press enter and watch. I'm gonna go stroke grass. Stroke. See how thick it was? How thick that is? So I'm gonna just gonna fix that. See this this is really thick. So that's why I go bigger than the eye. That way I don't have to worry about that. 